back on the bench with Noisy Boy FPV. Just a quick look into my radio, really. Um, Tyrannis X9D Plus. Uh, this is my trusty old school radio. Love it. Absolutely love it. I've held a T16 in my hands, I've held a Radio Master. Um, hey, if you like a Tango, more power to you. I've held one of them, didn't like the feel of it, just feels like a little tiny game pad for me. I like something that's got a bit of girth to it. Um, but yeah, a few modifications. I went with the M9 gimbals, I went with a race throttle stick with a shorter throw, and switched out the bases for all my switches just to colour it up a bit, just to try and make it pop. Uh, got these PU gripper pads, could do with a wipe, they're a bit grubby. They make it a bit more comfortable in your hand. Full crossfire, awesome bit of kit. Kickstand, uh, and my friend Steve, Sticker Steve, he made me the TBS cover. Nice when you just want to plonk your radio down. When you've got the big unit on the back and you lay your radio down, you know, you're always laying it on that. So, kickstand essential. Uh, I've gone with the TBS Diamond. Only ever used 2.4 once. I pretty much avoided the whole 2.4 FI Sky thing by just going straight to Crossfire. All the access and all the different protocols in 2.4 you see people going over and over and over and stressing about and just get crossfire or tracer or ghost uh, it's all better but uh, yeah my radio <coughs> brilliant sort of quite hard to say anything, anything other than that really some people probably don't like the Tyrannis, but it does everything I want it to and more, and I'm still discovering more and more about its features. These gimbals, are, I think they were £22 each. These feel great. An absolute must upgrade for the Tyrannis. It's worth taking the time to take the radio apart and swap these out. I went with the speaker upgrade unit in there. Ignition active. Mm. You turn me on. Ignition off. As you can hear, I've got amber in there. Engines armed. Engine off. Fail safe on. Fail safe off. So it's nice. Air mode. Normal mode. GPS mode. Seek mode. Angle mode. Horizon mode. Oh yeah, that was the right switch. <laughs> All your own little uh, twists and versions. Stabilization on. Stabilization off. Very nice to set up. Um, but an, just quick look into, <clears throat> if you go into your, where are we? Into the hardware's page. This is something that I know a couple of people have missed and some people don't even know it's there. Um, oh shit, how do you find it now? Radio setup, global functions, trainer, hardware. So, <clears throat> if you've done crossfire shot, and that's synchronizing the radio output to match the crossfire unit and reduce latency. Um, where are we now? ADC filter, down here at the bottom. This takes, I forget how many it is, but the step to response for the RC inputs, um, the ADC filter takes an average of the step to response and basically creates its own curve. I think it takes it from something like six milliseconds to 12, if I recall, um, from what I watched on other videos, it was uh, Max Spatz at UAV Tech that brought this to my attention. So I thought I'd sort of pass that information on really. But, if, if your ADC filter is checked, uncheck it, because that is going to fight 
any of the improvements that Crossfire and Crossfire Shop make by the radio is going to add latency. So let's get that ADC filter disabled, guys, and maximize the functionality that you've got from Crossfire. Um, so yeah, just a little look into that, really. But I flashed 2.3.1 um how do i get onto that one now do you know what every time you go onto one of these it's like a chinese puzzle <laughs> there you go 2.3.10 now when you flash 2.3.10 open tx and you've got crossfire and then you come to excuse me <sighs> can't beat a bro when you come to fly a quad power back up, it's not gonna work. And this is why. So if you go into your model setup, go up here, you've got your receiver numeration. So on earlier versions of OpenTX, when you're running Crossfire, this will stay at zero. But after you flashed 2.3.10, this is going to go up in an increment of 1 to 0 0.1. And that is going to disconnect all your quads from your Crossfire unit. Real simple fix. So after you've flashed, that's what you've got. Receiver, number one. Now, if I power up a quad now, there'll be no connection. And I've seen this multiple times on some discords. And... At first, I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to have to reflash all my receivers. What's going on here? And then I looked and I looked and I looked. And then there you go. Put that to double zero after flashing 2.3.10. Problem fixed. So that is just a quick solution. So after you flashed 2.3.10. But, yeah, will I be changing my radio? No. Trusty Tyrannis. Love it. Yeah, you've got the buzzing noise from your speaker. Don't bother me. But just a little tip and a little look into the long-term sort of review of a Tyrannus, really. Uh, obviously, I changed the casing. It was silver, this one, originally. Mica Obi RC. I think I probably got one of the last carbon fibre cases. Uh, it's, it's getting a bit threadbare now here. It's rubbed through a little bit, but... You know, it all, it's like a well-worn in pair of shoes now, this radio. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Quick tip for OpenTX. Noisy boy, signing out. Yeah! <laughs>